Hello, welcome to another Creature tutorial. This tutorial covers the new Creature Unreal 4 plugins. Now, as you know, the Creature Unreal 4 plugins have undergone through a ton of revisions lately, and I'm going to cover the new plugins that enable you to integrate your Creature animations into Unreal 4 much more easily. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to go onto the GitHub page and go to this address to grab the Creature Unreal 4 plugins, all right? And you notice there are two folders here. There's Creature Plugin Old, which is the old plugin, and the new one, which is called Creature Editor and Plugin, okay? So remember to grab that plugin, and then I will start up Creature and see you in the next screen, and we'll load up a character and see how it works. Okay, so for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to use the Dragon Sample, which you have no doubt seen very regularly in our other creature demos. All right, so here is the Dragon Sample, here is the mesh, here's the rig, and here is the animation. There's a couple of animations in this Dragon Sample itself. There's something called Ground Underscore Fire, which simulates or attempts to animate a dragon breathing fire, okay? There is ground idle, which is the idle animation of the dragon, right? And there is ground walk. This makes the dragon walk. And there is ground reverse, which is the dragon walking reverse in the opposite direction. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to actually export this dragon into Unreal 4. And the way we do it is to click on export animation and click on game engines, okay? And then we click on export. If you're running the pro version of Creature, you have an extra option called advanced export, which allows you to essentially tessellate or decimate your mesh to a lower resolution, okay? So you can use it to optimize it for performance if you require that. But let's assume you only have Creature regular and normal export works for both versions, so we'll stick to regular export today. So click on normal export, all right? And we are going to set an export folder. I'm going to call it my export, okay? And click OK. And that's it. We're done. All right, so now we're done with the export of the dragon and creature. Let's take a look at what the folder actually gives us, right? So the folder was called myexport.creexport. That's the extension that we denoted, denoted it in. If we double click on it, you'll see it has exported out the, the, the atlas or the sprite atlas and the JSON file, right? So those are the two files that we will be bringing into Unreal 4. So I will now load up Unreal 4. I'll see you in Unreal 4 in the next screen. Okay, so I'm in Unreal 4. I'm gonna click New Project. Okay, I'm gonna make a new project. So let's call it Test Project, all right? And we actually need it to be a C++ project because we are going to be compiling the plugin. So let's make it a basic code project and then, and then click Create Project. Right, okay, so our project is loaded up. I'm gonna remove some extraneous objects that we don't require to make our project more easily understood. Okay, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna close the project. And then I'm gonna start installing the plugin. Okay, so let's install the plugins. First, I'm going to go into the Creature UE4 GitHub Master folder, the folder where we, we downloaded the plugins. Go into the Creature Editor and Plugin folder. There is a directory called Creature Plugin. Let's copy that, all right? And then I'm going to go into my test project that I made just a while ago. I'm going to make a new folder. Let me call it Plugins, okay? Go into Plugins and paste the Creature Plugin contents into Plugins, all right? And it should have all the stuff from the GitHub repository, all the code, right? And then I'm going to regenerate the Visual Studio project files. So click on Test Project, New Project, and then say Generate Visual Studio project files. It's going to regenerate the project files so we can compile the plugin. All right. Okay. And once we're done with that, let's double click on the project. And it says the DLLs were missing. So would you like to recompile? We say yes. And then it starts building our creature plugins. All right. 
Welcome back to Unreal 4, and hopefully the creature plugins built successfully. Otherwise, Unreal 4 wouldn't launch. So to double check to make sure that your creature plugins were built out successfully, click on the Edit menu in Unreal 4 and click on the Plugins option. All right, and you should be able to see Creature Plugin at the very bottom. Okay, and it says Enable. So we're good to go. All right, so let's get started and let's see what we can do with the Creature Plugin. So with the new, with the new plugin, it's a lot easier to actually put in Creature Animations into your UE4 projects. But what you need to do is just drag in an empty actor, okay? And then I need to convert the actor into a Blueprint script. So just click on Blueprint and say Create Blueprint. Right, so now it's actually a Blueprint object you can see this window pop up. And what we're gonna do is we want to actually attach a creature mesh component onto this blueprint over here. So just click add, co add component, search for creature, it says creature mesh. Okay, there you go. And now we actually have a creature mesh here. Okay, so this, this is a creature mesh component that's actually gonna play back the creature animation and it's gonna be basically in her, uh, attached to this blueprint. All right. Now we can, we, what we need to do now is we have to create a creature animation asset. A creature animation asset is basically this slot over here. This is the slot that will direct our blueprints object to point to our dragon JSON. Remember that our dragon JSON animation that we exported earlier? We're going to make the dragon actually play with this blueprints, blueprints object, sorry. Okay, so what, what do we do? First things first, let us create a creature animation asset. So what you do is you right click in the content browser and you move your mouse over to miscellaneous. There is a new creature animation asset. Just click on that, okay? And a window will pop up and now we're just gonna find our JSON file, which is over here, character data JSON. So just open that. And there goes our JSON, right? Our JSON's over here now. Okay, so the creature animation asset object is actually smart enough to compress the input JSON. So the input files will actually be compressed, which means your game assets will be smaller. That's a new addition to the new creature animation UE4 framework that I hope you guys will appreciate. All right, so now we have a new creature animation asset. Uh, animation asset. Let's go back into our actor let's open up the blueprints for this guy again okay and what we do is we click on the creature mesh and we select the creature animation asset that we just created all right okay and you can see the the silhouette of the dragon already appears right and let's scale this the, this guy up because it's a bit too small okay so now he's he's a bit large he's a, he's a bit larger all right so only one problem now the dragon isn't really visible we just see the silhouette what's going on here well we have no material applied to this dragon just yet, and we're going to fix that, all right? So let's start by making a new material for this dragon. And what we do is we come in here, and I am actually going to go back into my export folder. I'm going to drag in the dragon's PNG into Unreal 4, okay? So now we have the dragon's texture map in Unreal 4, and then I'm going to make a new material of him. Right. Open up the material editor. Now, the Dragon PNG has alpha on it, so I'm going to pick a, cor a correct material setting for him, and I'm going to pick a masked, ma masked material, okay? And then I'm going to connect the alpha channel to the opacity mask so that the dragon is actually transparent. You can see it's actually transparent right now, right? So let's save it. Close this, all right, and let's go back to our actor blueprint, all right. Let's click on this guy, and now let's and let's pick the dragon material that we made, and there you go, beautiful. Now the dragon actually looks correct, all right. Okay, so let's see how it looks like in the game. Let, let me let me play it right now. Let's see, let me play this game. And there you go, our dragon's already doing something. That's the default animation. <laughs> it's actually leaning on, on this um, this wall object over here. So let's, let me raise him up a bit. It looks a bit ridiculous. 
Let me put them in the center as well. Okay, so that's our dragon. All right, so once you have the dragon playing, the next thing you probably want to do is to control the animation. I'm gonna show you some really simple methods on changing animation. And for the rest of the documentation and the capabilities of this plugin, please read the in-depth docu documentation on the creature webpage, the creature Unreal 4 documentations page, okay? But let me show you what you can do by uh, with this new plugin. So first things first, let's see if we can change the animation, the starting animation of the dragon, right? So I'm going to to change the animation of the dragon to something different. And I'm going to do it in the begin play event of this Blueprints object. So I'm, I've added an event begin play over here. And then I am going to say set blueprint. And you see these are a whole bunch of functions that popped up. And these have to do with the creature mesh component. So I can actually say, I want to blend, I want to blend the animation. Why do I use blend, by the way? Blending works because it smoothly transitions between animation clips. So it's, it's a very good function to call if you don't want abrupt changes, right? And now I am going to set the animation of the dragon to say ground idle. I believe that was what it was called. All right, let me see if it works. Okay, so this means in the event play callback, I'm going to set, I'm going to blend to an animation smoothly with ground idle, ground idle. So let's see what happens now. And there you go. The dragon is already in the idle animation. Cool. All right. So what we're going to do next is Let's set a delay. Let's let's make the dra dragon again smoothly transition to another animation after say I don't know five seconds maybe. All right, and then let's do the same thing again. So set blueprint. Let's see active blend animation. All right, and I am going to now say let's go for a walk. All right, and so let's transition with a factor of zero point one. So by the way, the factor is a value from from greater than zero and, and small equals to one. Okay, if it's one, it's gonna jump directly to the new animation. If it's a fraction somewhere in between, it's gonna smoothly blend based on how high your fraction is. Okay, if that makes any sense. So let's let's try this again. Let's, let's, let's see what happens. So I am in the idle animation and oh, there you go. I'm now in the walking animation. See what happened? Let's play that again. Okay. So now the dragon is in the idle animation, and after five seconds, it goes directly into the walk animation, the walk cycle. Cool. All right, so that basically concludes this really simple Unreal 4 creature tutorial. I hope this was a very good introduction to the new creature Unreal 4 runtimes and plugins, and this makes it really, really simple now to actually embed and use creature animation assets directly in Unreal, Unreal Engine. I hope you had fun watching this tutorial and happy animating.